Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome to the 20th spot of my top 25 countdown of my favourite players in career mode so far. And today we're talking about the wall, as I like to call him. This is Nemanja Matic. My God, what a player Chelsea have got. Now, what one bad thing, I guess, was Chelsea sold him and then bought him back, which is just ridiculous to me. They should have seen how good he was before. But maybe going out to Benfica really helped him. Because he has come back to Chelsea and he is one of the best CDMs in the world right now, if you ask me, in real life and in the game. He is one of the strongest in-game as well. He, he's just such a good CDM. Let's take a look at his stats. So 83 aggression. He really gets into those tackles. 84 interceptions. He sticks his foot out. He gets those loose passes all day. His vision is 77. His reactions are 81. He's got 90 stamina, which you guys know stamina is a lot. It's very important to me. And strength is 84. And also, he's got he's got decent movement for such a big guy. This guy is absolutely huge. Yet, he still has 68 sprint speed and 66 acceleration. And his agility and balance are pretty average. So, not too bad at all. Let's go into the skill attributes. Now, not an, not an orange in sight, basically. Except from goalkeeping, of course. Everything else is yellow or green. Ball control is very good. Dribbling is pretty damn good as well. His heading accuracy plus his jumping is not too bad at all. He's going to win you a lot of headers. Obviously, you know, things like curve, finishing, free kick accuracy don't really matter at all for a CDM. His long passing is good. His long shots are pretty good. Marking, 78. But most of all, his short passing, 82. And his stand tackling, 83. He is literally a wall. And that is exactly what he is. He is just such... A brute in front of your defenders. Now, if it, let's look at his player information. You can see he's 26. He's six foot four, yet he still has a potential of 85 at 26. So he's got a lot of growth in him for the rest of his years. He's from Serbia, so he's a Serbian wall basically. Lovely work rate. Absolutely love those work rates there. Attacking medium and defensive high, and he is left footed, which is pretty damn cool. Um, and to be honest, you know, I'm looking at his weak foot and skill moves. You might be thinking, oh, it would be nice if he had a better weak foot. But I tell you what, he's just as good on his right foot. I, I don't know. I don't know why he feels like he's got five star weak foot. His right foot is just as good. But on his left foot, obviously, that's where you're going to get the real power in his shots. If you're taking shots, his passes will be better on his left foot um, and his traits. He's a long passer. So, you know, what you want to do with him is win the ball and just pass it away. A bit like when I was talking about Bender. Um, at number 24 was that, or 23. Uh, Matic is very similar in that way. You need to win the ball, which I will say now is very easy with Matic. He's got such long legs. He gets everything. It's like a hoover. And then just pass it out. And um, I, I genuinely think, you know, probably one of the best CDMs in the world right now. So that wraps up the first five guys in my countdown. We're now moving on into the top 20. It's getting really exciting. I mean, some of these players I've already talked about are some of the best in the game. So God knows who could be up there in the top five, my favorite players. So stay tuned. Please keep like, leaving likes on the video. I really appreciate it, guys. And I will see you for number 19 tomorrow.